Hey guys, it's real windy, so bear with us. We're out here in the upper portion of one of our permaculture sections of the ranch here. And we just put in this uh, hoop house. It's a very simple do-it-yourself season extender that costs $2 per rib, so two, four, six, and then another $3 for the connectors here. Now we got one and a quarter inch PVC and then three quarter, which just slides right in here. I cut these at an angle and made a stake out of them. We just pounded them in with this hammer. And in about 10 minutes, we were done. Alan, what, about 10? 10 minutes. <laughs> so, yeah, so there's six. That's $9 for the structure and then 25 for the plastic. This is the cheapest I could get. It's like a five year, um, five or six mil greenhouse. And it's 12 feet wide because we're using 10 foot lengths of PVC. So we have a foot on each side and it's 25 feet long. So it's plenty long. So we're gonna have a little extra here. And then all we have to do is drape it over here and put these four by fours on top of it scrunch the ends together maybe put a rock on it and we have uh, an instant greenhouse that's going to conserve the heat in the ground during the day and then make that greenhouse warm uh, all night and this way we can plant corn 60 days earlier than we normally do so the corn we're planting up here is our native painted mountain and this is uh, from northern Arizona and a lot of you know what Painted Mountain looks like. And we're also going to be plant, plant, planting it alongside this black Aztec. The reason we can plant black Aztec, wow, red flag warning, next to Painted Mountain is because some of Painted Mountain is black Aztec. They're the same type of corn. And so when they tassel, they, they won't really harm each other pollinating. You don't want to plant sweet corn next to a dent corn because then you're going to get terrible sweet corn. So that's a really good issue. Also, we're planting pretty thick here, about four inch spacing randomly and about an inch down. And that's how you want to do that. And so that's how we're going to do the corn up here. So you'll be following our success on this. Hopefully with the hoop house, we'll be able to get this knee high by the 4th of July. Now we're going to do some companion planting up here. We're going to do some blood vein sorrel, which is a perennial leafy green. And some local San Luis Valley cilantro that we picked up at the San Luis Valley Seed Exchange. And you can go over and email them at saveseedsalida at gmail.com. And I think they're going to do a fall uh, seed exchange, so we'll be out there too. Right after the uh, Crestone Energy Fair. So it's pretty easy to extend your season if you have limited growing and you can do it on the cheap. This total cost of this entire uh, hoop house project is going to be about 35 bucks and last about five years. So it costs us about, you know, six bucks a year to have this season extender. Well worth it. Hope you got something out of the video. We lost a lot of trees and we don't know why, but we had success with a bunch of stuff we planted last year and like this plum tree looks like we're gonna get some plums we have a nanking cherry here and a nice columbine and these are our Egyptian walking onions I can show you some of our raspberry to finish up here some of the lettuces coming in pretty nice haven't had a raspberry yet on the property that we grew but this year it's looking good and I just planted this apple last year and it actually has a flower which is some pretty good news subscribe to the channel give a thumbs up and tell Alan how hard he's working <laughs>